Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the successful organization of the Hajj season, which was held amid exceptional health circumstances and reflected the capability of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its keenness on assuming the sacred responsibility of holding the major Islamic ritual. His Majesty commended the tremendous efforts of the Saudi King and the government to hold the Hajj season whilst implementing adequate precautionary measures to ensure the highest level of safety and health for pilgrims. His Majesty expressed his best wishes to the pilgrims, wishing the Saudi King abundant health and happiness. He also wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and Saudi Arabia further security and prosperity under its leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Prime Minister of Iraq, Mustafa Al Kazimi, during which congratulations and blessings were exchanged on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to restore this occasion on the two countries and their people and wished the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the successful occasion of this year's Hajj season, which was held amid exceptional health circumstances and reflected Saudi Arabia's capability and commitment to take on the sacred responsibility of holding the significant Islamic pilgrimage. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's efforts under the leadership of the Saudi King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin. Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud to serve and provide the pilgrims with comfort and the care needed. His Royal Highness also commended the Holy Mosque's ongoing construction projects and the exceptional services offered. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes to the Hajj pilgrims and Saudi Arabia for their prosperity under its leadership. His Royal Highness also sent similar cables to the Saudi Crown Prince and the advisor of the custodian of the two holy mosques, governor of Mecca and president of the Central Hajj Committee in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid al-Faisal bin Abdelaziz al Saud. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the first stages of the Slovakia International Endurance Championship for a distance of 120 kilometers with the participation of riders from Arab and European countries. His Highness led the royal team's jockeys in today's race as the race witnesses the participation of His Highness as well as the royal team's jockeys Salman Isa, Mohammed Al Hashimi, Manal Fakhrawi, and Nasser Al Dawadi. His Highness finished the first stage at the top of the race and emphasize the strength of the stages, especially that he participated in the 120-kilometer race less than 24 hours after completing the 160-kilometer race by achieving the championship title after a prominent level presented by His Highness throughout the stages. His Highness was keen to guide the jockeys throughout the stages to achieve the team's goals, which is a strong stop before participating in the next world championship that will be held in Italy. His Highness also met with the team riders before the start of the race, where he directed the riders to provide the best levels to achieve positive results that reflect the team's capabilities in European forms. The first stages of the race witnessed strong competition and good participation from Arab and European riders.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has been crowned after triumphing in the World Endurance Championship in Smyrna, Slovakia. His Highness received the cup after winning the 160 kilometer, followed by team rider Jafar Mirza in second place and Spanish jockey Rocio Esperanza Herrera in the third place. Royal Endurance team rider Ur uh, Uruguayan Cecilia finished fourth, followed by Raid Mahmoud, while His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa came ninth. His Highness congratulated the Royal Endurance team riders on their achievement, wishing them continued success. محمد مبروك النامو سعيدك مبارك وهذه عيدية الله يسلمك من عندك الحمد لله الحمد لله على كل حال كل عام وانتم بخير وعيدك مبارك وهذا اقل شيء نقدر نسويه لمملكة البحرين طيب العمر اليوم سباق 160 خمس مراحل مشاركة قوية اثارة اكبر عيدية وان شاء الله اكبر استعداد وافضل شيء حق بطولة العالم القادمة رغم المحطات اللي بتكون قبل ان شاء الله والله هذه خطوة اعتقد خطوتنا الاخيرة قبل بطولة العالم والمؤشرات جدا طيبه فضل دعم سيدي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره هو ويانا من اول خطوه الى اخرى اعتقد ان احنا هذه المره تجهيزنا تجهيز عظيم والاثبات هذا السباق الاخير اللي احنا قمناه باخر محطه اعتقد وضحت الرؤيه ويا الله بالتوافق عندنا ثلاث شهور الحين نعد بالمستوى اللي هو يليق بمملكه البحرين ان شاء الله. في صعوبات واجهتك في المراحل الخمسه؟ ما في صعوبات في التضاريس لكن تعرف المسافة 160 سواء كانت في الفلات ولا كانت في الجبال اللي يركب 160 كيلو ويقول لك إنه هو ما يتعب هذا ما صدق وياك لكن الحين المشكلة إنه ورانا 120 كيلو بكرة ففي أقل من 24 ساعة يا الله يا رب نجيب لكم إن شاء الله بعد إنجاز ثاني أنا بسألك إن ناصر بن حمد عودنا على تحدي الصعاب دائما ما أعتقد عندك مشكلة في 120 بكرة يعني أبدا ما عندنا مشكلة إن شاء الله الله يوفق the annual Eid open house organized by the Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center returns this year after a two year hiatus due to the COVID 19 pandemic. This year's event will be held until the third day of Eid from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the center's premises in Jafar. More in this report. Peace and coexistence will be the focus of the annual Eid open house organized by the Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center at Bahrain's biggest mosque. Thousands of visitors are expected to attend the two-day event, which features a lineup of activities which all aim to highlight the values of peace, harmony and tolerance. We have many uh, attract attractions here. For They have the mosque tour, which is the main thing, and they get to know about the occasion of Eid, what does it mean and what does it represent. We talk about the mosque itself, the architectural beauty of this mosque and how it was constructed and where the materials came from. We introduce it to them to about the holy book, the Quran, how it was revealed and its message. We show them the story of the Hajj, how the pilgrimage was started, because this comes after the pilgrimage season and the story of the building of the Kaaba by Prophet Abraham and his son Ishmael. We, ex we let them test Zamzam water and explain the story about the Zamzam well. We show them the Salah about how it's done, the ritual prayer. The celebration, which has been going on for more than 20 years, is open to people of different faiths, aimed at promoting a better understanding of Islam, as well as serve as a platform for visitors to learn more about the Muslim and Bahraini culture and hospitality, along with building bridges with people of other faiths and cultures. See, in Bahrain, it's open society, and we will come, all nations in Bahrain, they almost will come. The beauty of this aid open house is people living in Bahrain for years. Number one, a lot of them, they don't know what is aid and how we celebrate it. What's the purpose of aid? Number two, what we do inside the mosque. So by people coming inside the mosque, we share with them what is the mosque, what is the aid, 
how we start the celebration and what we do during the Eid. Came here to uh, see what the mosque is all about and enjoy ourselves while we're here um, because it's my first time being to Bahrain uh, and I thought it would be really cool to come and visit. I think it's amazing. I mean, the uh, the architecture of the mosque is very cool, and you don't see like anything like that in in America. Um, but I like how they did uh, each individual section of the mosque, the corners where they explain the Quran, they sp explain how Hajj. The Aid Open House, which is run entirely by a team of volunteers, facilitated the space for visitors and tourists from Bahrain and around the world to experience the Arabic culture and deliver a unique insight to Islam, fostering a culture of peace in the kingdom. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Serafi, inaugurated the Bahrain Beaches Festival on the beach of Bilaj al-Jazar. This event is the first of its kind organized by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority as part of its efforts to enrich the summer season in the Kingdom of Bahrain with a number of activities that attract tourists and visitors, in addition to encouraging domestic tourism for citizens and residents. The launch of the festival witnessed various artistic performances and the days of Eid al-Adha will witness entertainment shows, water sports, sand sculptures, and many other events. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain warned citizens not to travel to the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka at the present time due to the current situation. The ministry also warned citizens present in Sri Lanka to leave the country immediately, avoid areas of unrest and follow the instructions from local authorities for their own safety.